So this is Unity. In the middle of the screen you can see something that looks like chemistry. I'm going to teach you how to create simulations using the power of Unity that I think you'll find enjoyable and very educational. So this is one of the types of things you can build. This is electrostatic forces. Lovely. Part of my instruction will be to show you how to take what you build in Unity, make it into a web-based game, so that anybody with a laptop, Chromebook, computer can uh, play your game and learn some chemistry. Here's another thing you can build. These are molecules now instead of just spheres but they behave fairly similarly to the way you'd want authentic water molecules to behave in the presence of a positively charged ion. Here you can see more water molecules are joining the party and we've got some nice random motions uh, but again electrostatic forces are driving the action here. So I'm trying to show you that it's very easy to work in Unity. And you can add features like this temperature slider with just a few clicks of your mouse and make something that you would be proud to share with your students. Let's take a look at this one. So this is a precipitation reaction. and very easy for you to make this yourself. Boom, beautiful. Although Unity may look complicated, I've broken this down into a series of simple steps that I think any teacher can follow. I've also given you a number of assets that will make things very easy for you to do. So I hope you'll join me and learn how to use Unity to create dynamic simulations for your chemistry classes. If you can't join me at ChemEd, I've put everything on YouTube. And if you just follow the videos in order, you can learn how to use Unity. This is me, Steve Sogo. The channel is Sogo Chemistry. Look for chemistry with Unity. I've made a Google Doc, shared Google Doc, that will help guide you through learning how to do chemistry with Unity. And this link to this document is in the description of this video. If you are joining me at ChemEd, make sure you get through step two before the workshop. Workshop is Wednesday morning, 9.30 a.m.